is Jen here from Anne and Sons and Such and Be Scented Fragrance Little Supply. We are in the second episode of um, making soaping basics. Um, this is prepping our oils for soap making. And here's my recipe that I have made up. Um, you can do this in soap calc is where I did. And if you notice under soap calc, it gives you the options for pounds, ounces, and grams. So depending on how you want to measure your soap, you can do it either way. I always work in ounces. If you feel more comfortable to do grams, by all means work in grams. So, castor oil. I have 5%. I have 10% cocoa butter, 20% coconut oil, 55% olive oil, and 10% shea butter. Our lye is 3.42 ounces and our water is nine and a half ounces. That is if you do full water, 38% is would be, your water would be nine and a half ounces. I always do a two to one ratio when I make soap and I feel like, um, I don't feel like that is like an advanced soap making technique. Um, I feel like if you learn from the beginning how to soap with a discount, it's not hard. I only make very few recipes when I first started out at full water. Um, my soaps were just too soft. They, you know, took six weeks or more to cure, you know, and I just wanted a harder bar of soap faster because I'm impatient and I wanted to try it, not to sell, but for my personal use. So that's when I started researching about water discounts. And um, what I have found is a two to one uh, ratio, which lye concentration, that is about 33%. So we're gonna start out with our hard oils, our shea butter and our cocoa butter. Now, for this recipe, it's 10%, so there's two and a half ounces. I'm gonna tear this out. This is my little container that I always use when I'm making two pound recipes. You can get these at the dollar store. They're Rubbermaid containers. Looks like the top measurement is five cups. So we'll tear that out. So for our cocoa butter, we need two and a half ounces. That's my shea. These containers I have had for a long, long time. Now I buy my butters and stuff in bulk and I just break them up and put them back in these, these bigger, these smaller containers. So we need two and a half ounces. There we go. Now I'm gonna pop this in the microwave on 60%. I don't like to do it at full heat for about a minute. And then I'll bring you guys back. Okay, we're back. It ended up taking about two minutes in the microwave to melt this down. Now we're gonna add our shea butter. Now the shea butter that I use is the raw, unrefined shea butter. We need two and a half ounces. This is what it looks like. It has a yellow tint to it, which in soap making for me is fine. I don't worry with it. Um, if I need to, I add some titanium dioxide. Almost there. See what we get here. Perfect. All right. So let's get my lid back on my container. Now, with this, 
I'm just going to stir, 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 and hopefully the heat from the cocoa butter is enough to melt it. If it is not, I'll pop it back in the microwave on low heat for 30 seconds or so to get this shea butter all melted. Most of the time, your cocoa butter um, it has a higher melt point. Um, it is enough to melt it. But the next oil I'm going to use to put in is my uh, coconut oil. And I actually measure it out in um, another container because I buy my coconut oil in 50 pound uh, buckets. And it's a bit heavy and it's a bit awkward and you know you need to do precise measurements. And so I, I measure it, I dump it out into another container to do, to measure it. All right, I am going to pop this back in the microwave for another 30 seconds or so, and I'll be right back. All right, as you can see, that 30 second burst in there on a lower heat was enough to get that to melt down. I do lower heat because you don't want to affect the properties of your oils, so you don't want to overheat them. If you feel more comfortable doing it on the double boiler on the stove, you can do that. All right, so let's get our scale over here. And our coconut oil, we need five ounces. If you do not feel comfortable measuring into oils you already have um, going, um, do measure it into another container. Just be sure to scrape, scrape, scrape to make sure you get all of the oil out. So we're going for five ounces. There we go. Perfect. And I'm going to move this out of my way because I have some more coconut oil in here. I'm going to pour back into my container. Alright. Got that poured in there. Put this up. <sighs> Now we will add our castor oil. Let's turn our scale back on. Get that down to zero. And our castor oil is 5%, so we need 1.25 ounces. Now castor oil is very thick, so you need to measure slowly because it, it weight, it's where it's so thick it's heavy. And it's very easy to go over your amount. Just a little bit more. Perfect. Yes, sweetheart. And my last oil to measure will be my olive. Now, what did I do that for? Whoopsies. My olive oil is 55% of my recipe, so I need 13.75 ounces. This is the olive oil that I use. I just get it at my local Sam's Club. Or if you have a Costco where you are. And this container here is about $14 where I'm at. Almost there. Seven five. Perfect. Woohoo. Okay. So 
this is all of our oils already. You give it a good stir. Now where I only heated up this shea and cocoa butter and all of the other oils were room temperature, by the time I have added this, it is back down to being cool. Let me take the temperature for you. All right, <laughs> this is a new scale or new thermometer and I have not used it yet. It has the little tag still on the top. I need to get peeled off if I can get a hold of it. Uh -huh. All right, so let's put this in here and see what temperature we ha have. Kind of move this around. Looks like we're at like 86 degrees, which is to me is perfect. That is a good temperature. It actually probably will come down some more um, by the time I'm completely ready. But this makes the end of this video, which is our oils, getting our oils ready for soap making. So stay tuned for the third episode and it is the final preparations and additives. So catch you later.